Seeing as I'm just a lowly fighter, I don't know what spell All she's right, casting. Dear. I'm getting to it. So at this point in the game, uh, generally for a fighter, if you're not a fighter thief or anything of the like, you will have to break yeah. open chests. So it's kind of the downside to being a fighter. I'm all done here. But uh, your companion, unless you order them not to, will just obliterate a chest. And if you're using a thief, or if you are a thief, um, that won't be great because you lose concentration if someone just tries to beat up the thing you're trying to open. But Here we are in the Peninsula Tomb. We already have this open chest because the animation can fail to load there. Let me go in here to talk to Briley. Hail to ye! Uh, okay. But please. Only those with permission of the revered Judge Olaf Usker can be here. There's nothing for you to steal anyway, Avan Odola. Thank goodness you are here, but the plague has not been kind to our number. But the work of tear must still be done. What can you tell me about these tombs? The tomb here belongs to Fairblade. It has been her resting place for a good few years now. Though I don't know how exactly how long. She is a trusted fan friend of Never. So hopefully this place will hold clues as to where the founder himself is buried. The one is very close to the surface. It's suggesting it may have been moved at least once in Neverwinter's history. But there are no records of it. What have you learned from this tomb? The plague killed an every member of the team that was digging it out. What they knew mostly died with them. There's a journal though. The Scarab Jacob, the scribe Jacob, was supposed to detail what they found, but I couldn't read his account. It is in the chest, you may open it. Goodbye. Another time. Remember to look at Jacob's journal in the chest. He ha may have included some valuable information before he, well, his blessed quill will put to good use detailing what they found. Strange, the quill is not there. So, suspicious. So you want to pick up these ceremonial items and the journal. We'll just read that. The, de the book details the initial search for the book, Tomb of... How oh god, I can't say his name. Of Never. It is unfinished. The writer obviously failing to the plague. Falling to the plague before he can include in many details. But it does point out the possible locations of three tombs in addition to the one in the Peninsula District. The Beggar's Nest Great Graveyard. Docks District, the Northwestern Quarter. Black Lake District, the southwestern quarter. The directions are vague, but the book does mention each tomb is likely sealed off with a magical protected door. A riddle of some sort is the key to each. The solution of Peninsula Tomb was emerald, which was answered by simply placing an emerald in the container immediately next to the door. It is worth noting that the action seemed to destroy the item, making it expensive discovery. Text of the emerald riddle on the Peninsula Tomb. Diamond of the Force is the seasons never change. So we'll just take that with us. Hint, 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 hint. That's all we have to do for this. Um, not really big, and there's not much you can give to uh, Olaf. So we're just gonna head back to the main Peninsula District. Alright, let's continue to explore. Oh, look, a priest of hell. Well, I mean, they have been giving a blessing, so I'm told. So let's go get a blessing from the priest of hell. To you. you, with the rough exterior, shall I cleanse you with the living water once all cupped with the guardian's palm? It keeps the plague at bay, at least for a while. Yes, please give me Helen's blessing. May this child of the mortal realm be blessed, touched by the comforting waters that Dester has blessed in the name of Helm, that the wa I watch over your fate. Thank you, that'll be all. So, that looked like a negative effect. Hmm. That's interesting. I thought I was gonna get blessed. So, we wanna go in here and get another quest for the Peninsula District. Here, we shall talk to another name I can't pronounce, but we will try. Who are you? And why did the guards let you in here? There's enough trouble in this district without thugs like you. Wait. You aren't new recruits, are you? Yes, the guards really put up a fight. We just walked past them. She has now. Well, that's the first bit of welcome news I've heard all day. Who are you? A name. I'm called Connor. Very well, Connor. 
It is, truth to be told, we've got our hands full in the Peninsula District. We can, and we could use your help. It's a bit outside standard militia duties, though. What kind of job? With all the prisoners in the streets, we're stretched to the limit, just trying to keep the civilians safe, as if the whaling wasn't enough. What I need is someone to get inside that prison and figure out what the hell is going on down there. Lady Arath authorized 300 gold pieces bonus to any militia member who can bring me proof that the situation's been resolved. Consider it dangerous pay. If I can't do it, how... <sighs> how do you intend to get me into the prison? They're running the prison like a fortress, sending out raiding parties and then retreating back inside. It's been hard to get a hold on of them. I think they're probably carrying keys to get back to the fortress once they're finished looting or whatever. Nobody has we've caught has one, though. Since you can bust down the front door, you'll have to find the person with the key. I'll start near the sewers in the southwest of the district. We've seen a number of groups there. All right, I guess I'm your man. Good luck, then. And don't forget to report back to me if you manage to resolve whatever trouble is down there. So yes, once we finish up in the prison... We this whole district when we deal with what the ever issue is down there we must come back to go talk to her else we won't get extra experience so don't forget about this quest all right let's move on oh look an escaped prisoner <laughs> They didn't drop anything. So, we're gonna follow the lead, and she said we should go check out the sewers in the southwestern area. So, we'll do that. Alright, let's equip the torch and burn this plague victim. Yes. Now, with our experience coming along, great. We'll be leveled up in no time. I love how she just murders him and just watches me kill the other guy. She's like, I'm done. Let's do this corpse. There's nobody here. I greet you, my child. Who are you? I can't ask him that. I'm being stabbed. No, it's- oh god, there's more. Linu, watch my back, I said, not bring them to me. Wow. Power attack, if you keep seeing her use, increases the damage you do, but decreases how often you hit, but considering how rarely I hit anyway, it doesn't really matter. I greet you, my child. Thanks for the help. I was trying to make my way home when those brutes found me. Who are you? What are you doing in the streets? I'm a butler from Lady... He says the same thing. He's just the butler. Let's follow him. Wonder what's inside. Probably a safe haven. With no... Oh. And he just disappeared. He's a ghost. So this house is full of bandits anyway. We're going to collect a lot of those. And let us rest. Resting is very important in this game because it will recover your health and sometimes remove status effects. It will also recover spells that you've used for the day. And you're familiar if you have one. Alright, let's continue on adventuring after we save the butler from near death again. Oh, so pretty. Let the earth take you! Here's the front door. Let's just waltz up into the front door, why don't we? Then, uh, I love how we get more experience for burning the bodies than we do actually killing the prisoners. Why don't we just burn them too and get 25 kills? Let's kill all them near the entrance. He doesn't have description. What is he? 
Whoa. So that one went in the house. Still wearing the tatters of his prison uniform, this escaped prisoner has the vicious look of someone with nothing to lose. Right, he is. Was there a slingman over here? Apparently not. Let's loot these corpses! Yes. Yes. Don't want it. What's over here? I can't examine it. And another s Silence will get used. Or pick up, apparently. Okay, we're in very dangerous territory at this point, so... Once we deal, these guys are gonna drop a save. Because we're gonna have our first mini-boss encounter, I like to call them. No, Linu, please don't. Okay. Can I save mid-battle? Let's make a new save. Okay, because over here, if we get too close, we knew might just pull him out for us. Over there, we have the gang leader. Gang leader, he is quite powerful if you are not prepared for him. So running in this area is very suicidal. You don't have to fight him, but I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, he doesn't really give you anything, just so you keep in mind if you're like... Other than experience, which is probably the most important thing at this point in the game. Aside from an upgrade to our weapon, a plus one weapon, which would be also helpful. Copper ring we can sell. Okay, let us say, I would recommend if you can, to take out any other guards, slash prison, not guards, prisoners, in the area, because he, they will gang up on you with the gang leader. So let us fight him. Be careful, he can knock you down, and that will deal a heck of a lot of damage, along with him beat you up as well. We knew, wow, we were getting a lot of critical hits, especially for having power attack. Yes, he does hurt you. Do not ask her to heal you. Um, as a cleric, AI, she has a really bad habit. If she gets low on health, she'll just start spamming healing spells, and which isn't the best, because... You get attack of opportunities, as the enemies do. Only one way out for you. I'm not actually having too much trouble with them because Linu beat the crap out of him from behind. So yes, yeah, so that'll be the first mini-ish harder enemy. I don't know if he's really a boss per se, but I would just count him as a harder enemy. What did he drop? A gauntlet. As a paladin with no lore, I can't identify it. So, how identifying works in this game, you need to go back to Arabeth, ask her to do so, and she'll identify it for you. Split mail over there isn't as good as what we have half right now, half plate. So, they said the sewer area, so I'm assuming it's down here, so we should just save, if we could. Alright, we'll just... I meant rest, but we'll also save. We might die down here. Actually, Linu, can you heal me? Thank you. We won't be dying.